YouTube, what is going on? It is Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Gallup Racer 2003. Um, hmm. I don't know what the theme of today is, to be honest with you. We're just going to hop into a race. As always, appreciate you guys' love and support. And as always, make sure you check the description box below for um, good stuff down there and channels to other Gallup Racer YouTubers like Genesis and Basic Blue. As always, show them some love. So, we are here today in the Hong Kong Stakes, eight and a half furlongs with Secret Keeper. I think this is his second or third race. And um, I think what I've noticed is he has a lot more stamina left at the end of the race. Now, granted, you look at his stamina, it's only 42. Keep in mind, he's a late bloomer, so he's only three years old. He's really not going to be his best till he's probably five. That's pretty much what happened with Crimson Art. Well, Crimson Art started to really uh, get competitive, I think, at four and a half. So either way, it's still at least going to be another year and a half to two years before Secret Keeper really starts to show what he's capable of. Um, and like I said, I've noticed we've just had so much stamina left at the end. So I'm definitely going to be better about um, getting him going a lot sooner. Because he's he's always has a lot more stamina left than I think. Away she goes with the record here. Galbraith's original um, filly turned broodmare. And technically she still is. Uh, well, she has been. I think we replaced her with Scotch Dancer, so... Um, for Secret Keeper, I, you know, I don't really want to push him to the front, but he has a weird leg type. Like, he either wants to be in the lead or he wants to be, like, a closer. He, there's really no in-between. So, I'm just going to work on getting him to the front here because, again, we've been having so much stamina with him in his races, and I would like to try to maximize that and um, see what he can do. Now, I'm still hopeful for this horse. Um, obviously, we can't really expect crazy things right now. Um, but I still think he's going to be great. Um, how great, I don't know. But I still think he'll win some G1s. I still think he'll do pretty well. Now, we have a lot of stamina left. And this is what I mean. Like, a lot of stamina left, man. Seriously. Now, I'm trying to get ahead of this horse. Got to start the whip a little bit. And the horse is not going away. See, I wanted to get ahead of that horse. Now, we're not supposed to really have a chance here today. And I wonder if Secret, he's continuing to bounce back. We're dropping down the order, but he's still fighting. He's still fighting. This is all I want to see. Try to finish in the top three, man. Finish strong, over whipped. I think that was still third. It might be fourth, but I think that, think that was, yep, third place. So, solid effort there from Secret Keeper. Like I said, he has a, it's weird. His stamina is only at 42 right now, but I swear to you, like, he's... There's always a little bit left in the tank with him. So, double S on the stretch burst, which is fantastic. So, all that tells me, I, I still need to push him quite a bit. More than I probably think, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm glad to know that we have a horse with that. You know what I mean? Um, I, in fact, it's the first original I've had that actually has more stamina than I'm used to. <laughs> And, uh, again, wait till he hits his peak. I mean, we could really win a lot of races with him. I think he has that perfect running style I want. It is, like I said, weird that, you know, he either needs to be leading or just essentially be a closer. But I like the flexibility. Um, I could put him in a G3. I could try him in a G1. But, uh, let's see here. There's a handicap there. Don't want that. I might run him seven furlongs, honestly. I might run him a shorter distance. We'll have to work him probably a little bit more, but I think that could work. Red Daisy, she's still kind of taking a layoff here. I mean, she's very average. I think she's pretty much at her peak. She was probably going to peak early. Uh, we've raced her 14 times. Two wins, two places, two shows. No G1s. Um, she's done okay. Like, I'm, I'm not disappointed with her performance. I didn't have much... I, like I said, I didn't really have many expectations with her. So it's actually okay. There's a handicap there, but hopefully that doesn't affect us. We'll see. Um, or actually, you know what? I don't want to do that. Let's scratch. Um, I actually want to continue to kind of put her in G1s. Let's race her in this... Is she the only dirt horse that we have? Let me see. I think she is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's the only dirt horse that we can... Yeah, because... No. Secret Keeper, can he run in the Caesars Cup? Hold on, let me see. Granted, Red Daisy might be a better option for that. Anyways... Yeah, okay. So he can't even run in the Caesars Cup. Well, never mind. I thought he could. 
Uh, where did I have him? I had him. Okay, seven for a long. So yeah. Well, I actually put Red Daisy in the Caesars Cup. I mean, we've run her in G1s before, and she's done well. She hasn't won any, but she's done really well against those fields. So, um, considering where she's supposed to finish. So, I I'm okay with giving her a shot there. All right. So, let's go ahead and do that. Last month of preparation for Perfect Art. Who should be our best horse? Oh, I don't know what to do. I could do Guts Training again. I think I'll do Guts Training again. I think that's what I'll do. I can't remember if I said I was going to focus more on Speed or Guts with him, but either or, they both should be pretty high from his parents, so I think it'll be fine. Alright. Let's try to actually get like a mid-80 here, hopefully. Now the goods aren't going to get me to a mid-80, so I gotta make sure I'm getting excellence. Let's see... <laughs> there we go! That should be a mid-80. We didn't miss a single one. 95! <laughs> Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> I don't even think I did that well. I just didn't miss. That's the highest I've ever scored on Guts. That's a double S rank. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That's actually a good training session, and that will really help this horse, hopefully. I don't know what the stats are going to be. We've done extremely well. Have we? Okay, so this is Perfect Art from Perfect Partner, our broodmare, and Crimson Art the Stud. So... Leg type is perfect. Distance is 5 to 8 on the turf. So pretty much a short distance. I mean, a sprinter for the most part. Response and health are good. I always like to see that. Guts is 45. Not ideal. Power is not great. Don't really think we need it. Stamina is okay. Speed and staying. So he didn't really say that horse is going to be a late bloomer or not. Now I'm like, or her... Comeback, not good. Okay. But she has closer. Um, huh. Closer ability. Crimson had that as well. Um, and that's just about overtaking horses. I'm surprised she didn't get the free ability from her mother. Um, I forgot. What were their growth types? Like, well, Crimson was definitely delayed. And Perfect Partner peed quickly, so... I have to assume that Perfect Art will more than likely have an average growth type, but she'll probably only be good until she's four, maybe five years old. Maybe we can race her until she's five. Her stats are okay. I thought they'd be a little bit better from the start, but you know what? It's okay. Maybe, maybe she'll develop a little bit. I have to remember, most of Crimson Art's foals are probably still going to take some time to develop. But you know what the perfect thing about her is, since she's a turf horse, we can actually race her on turf at a suitable distance. This is the first Gallop Racer original in this series that I can finally race in these July 6 furlong turf races and they can actually probably do well with them. We've always had dirt horses, so this is very nice um, to finally be in a position to race a horse that can actually potentially do well in those, that first race. So yeah, perfect dart. Um, like I said, response and health are still really good. Everything else, I'm kind of surprised they're a little bit lackluster, to be honest with you. And I don't know how much training can or cannot affect that. I don't know if they're expecting you to just get, like, 95s on all the training sessions. Like, that's never going to happen with me. Um, some of those things are just too difficult. I just, I'm just not good at them inherently. So that's why I'll just do trust training. But anyways, we're here with Dear Puffy. Uh, she's not going to be the favorite. She usually isn't. But she still has a chance to win. Tough field. We have Ant B. We have... Uh, well, Firm Jewel, but she's not really expected to do much. Simple Moon. So pretty tough Spring Mile Cup field. Uh, I'm not really going to bet on... Well, she's the best horse we have currently. I probably should bet on myself. Um, I don't want to lose money, though. Like We just need eight grand more to be able to do our next upgrade. I'll just place a show bet. I'm only going to do that. Figure we hit our show bet. That'll be nice. Is, uh, I don't know. This is going to be pretty tough. Um, Dear Puffy, she's done excellent. It's not like I don't have faith. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a tough race. I think it'll be uh, challenging. Then again, I say that, and then I end up winning by, like, five or six lanes. So who who really knows, right? 
I just gotta run the race and just see how we perform. So, uh... Dear Puffy, she gets out here pretty well, and... Yeah, this is good. Like, I'm, just, I'm so happy to have horses that don't need to be leading anymore. Like, that's such a blessing. Because, honestly, unless you're, like, on an all-star horse, it really is a pain to be on a horse that wants to lead but doesn't have... You know, the staying power, essentially, and, and the stamina to really make that work all the way to the end. Like, sure, most of our originals that have been front runners, they've been able to have better results than usual, but they weren't winning all the time. That's what I want. You know what I mean? So we're going to get going now with Dear Puffy. Make sure we get her, get her out. Now we rock and roll with her. Hopefully she doesn't use too much stamina. All right. Ah, overwhipped. I keep doing that. And I don't know who that is. Can Deer Puffy fight back? Oh, yes, she can. Stretch burst. We're still going to get challenged. The two is coming. This race is crazy. Deer Puffy, she's actually going to get it done. She's going to win the spring mile. What a tough filly. Like I said, it wasn't that I didn't have faith. I just I wasn't sure how it was going to go. And that was still a tough race. You see, it's basically almost four horses at the line there. I felt like that was going to be a tough race. So something told me that was going to be a little bit more competitive than usual. Dear Puffy, though, she still gets it done. It's another G win, G1 win for her. And that is exactly what you want, man. She'll be a solid brute mare as well. And again, she could be better because we're going to race her for longer. I think we'll have more opportunities to accomplish more with her. So she really could end up being a much better um, brood mare than the previous ones we've had just because we'll have more opportunities to i think win more with her um great win there we're supposed to finish fifth we finished first and uh yeah Pl placing the show bet was perfect i didn't spend too much still ended up winning quite a bit so we moved closer to 250 g's 250,000 g's so we can upgrade our facilities we're at four stars for all of our facilities we're almost maxed out so Really, really good win there for Dear Puffy. I'm really happy with that. Uh, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at her right quick. And, again, look at her stats. She is really solid, like, across the board for an S-ranked filly. Um, temper 93. Like I said, extremely mild. Uh, just, I mean, she's so calm. And gut 79. We, we have seen that. She has really won a lot of races because of her guts. So that is fantastic to know that she actually has a really... She'll have the best guts rating, I think, of any horse that we've had. Crimson, I think, is a close second, but I can't recall anybody else having a Guts rating that at least has been that good so far in this playthrough. Um, and, of course, like I said, both of those abilities, Last Corner Leader and Stretch Burst, those abilities combined are so strong in this game on the right horse. And, again, you look at her record, 10 meets so far, 7 wins, 2 places, and 4 of those are G1s. And, again, she's only 4 years old. She's an average growth type, which again means I could probably still have her compete like this for another year to two years even. I might I might keep her out a little bit longer because I really feel like if we can accomplish more with her, we can really make her like the best broodmare we've had. And I think that'd be pretty cool to do. Um, for sure. So I'm trying to look for a good G1 to put her in if there is one available. There may not be. Uh, G2 may be next up here, and I think that's what we'll do. Just put her in a G2. Boston S. 6,400. That could be enough to uh, put us over the hill if we don't get there by then, but I think we will. So, uh, two more races in this month with Red Daisy and Secret Keeper. It's nice to finally be racing on mainly originals. It's always a nice feeling for me. Oh, we're actually over the amount. I didn't even realize. Yeah, we won that race, duh, and we won our bet. So we won way more than the 3K I was thinking about. Secret Keeper, he's up again into G3, and he's a long shot here. Muddy conditions. Again, he's a late bloomer. He's always going to probably have you know these kind of uh, lackluster odds in the market until he gets closer to his peak. Now, this race, we have post position one. It's only seven furlongs. I st uh, because his stats aren't great yet, I still think I should probably keep him toward the front. Honestly, especially since we have post position one here, I, I think I should probably just push him to the front anyways. Um, uh, come on, Secret. Get to the front, man. Get to the front, dude. All right. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there. And he's here. All right. A little bit longer than I would have liked, but it's fine. Let's settle him down a bit. 
again, we gotta keep him out front here. Uh, let's see what he does, man. And his stamina's still good, again. I just, he has a lot more stamina than it, it appears, so. Okay, I gotta get him going now. Get him going now. He is the long shot, so we're not given much of a chance here today. And I probably should have beaten that horse on the head-to-head, -head, so that's kind of my fault. Uh, I am surprised he was uh, had such bad odds here today. That's a little bit strange. But he falls to last place. I wonder if it would have been better, actually, for me to keep him in the back, you know, in that race, in that situation, especially with his stats. It's, it's kind of, it's a little bit tricky with him so far, because, again, his stats aren't great. Stretch was S, though, so I guess I did close to the best I could. Um, yeah, I, I would have liked to at least beat a horse. I mean, we're usually able to do that. It's not often that we actually come in last place if we're expected to. But it's fine, again, still developing, still growing. He still has a lot of time left. Um, so ideally with him... Yeah, I'm not sure... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess it depends on the field and the race. That's probably a race I, I could have or should have probably left him at the back. And then just try to catch a couple of horses at the end. That's probably what I'll do next race. Um, I wanted to stay at front in that race with him because we had post position one. I figured it was just going to be easy just to go to the front and stay in our lane. We'll see. Anyways, Red Daisy, our filly. She is up in the Caesars Cup. Uh, she is the She's expected to finish, like, 12th. So she doesn't really have a chance. But again, this is good experience. And she's performing much better in these races than she's supposed to. So um, I'm not worried at all. I think she definitely hit her peak. So we can probably retire her at any time. But I'm going to keep running her until I feel like we're not really getting any results from her. So still feel like she could win something big. She may not, but I still have confidence that the right race and the right conditions, we can still get it done with her. So, this is the Caesars Cup. And here we go. Red Daisy. She's ready to rock and roll in another G1. Perfect start. Pretty easy. And uh, I'm just kind of going to let the field just do their crazy stuff as usual. And I really want to make sure we don't burn Red Daisy out. I want to make sure that she stays... Um... What is going on with this speed, man? All right, there we go. So I, I think this is pretty comfortable for her. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep her outside or not. This is probably a tougher track for her to run outside on. So I'm probably just going to keep her right here and just hope that like a, a gap frees up. A lane frees up as we get into the stretch. It's a very short turn. Um, the turns are very short, I guess I should say. But um, these dirt tracks, they, it's a lot harder to run on the outside for these tracks for whatever reason it's a lot harder than the turf so ideally i'm just going to keep her here i don't really like being here right now to be honest with you but um and i know i could have her further towards the front but i i think i wanted to save a little bit more ground with her so i think that would kind of work out for our strategy here and uh we'll get her moving now she has a long way to go towards the front now let's get through this gap let's keep pushing Ah, overwhit. Now, again, let's just see her heart, man. Let's see how she digs in. And I know that horse is just going to move to the lane. And she's fighting, but not really fighting. In fact, she's actually dropping. And there she goes. To last place. Why? Why last place? I know we were supposed to finish, like, 12th, but... Huh. I felt like she had a chance, and then just, she lost all her will. I guess I needed to get her going a lot sooner. D on the stretch. I know the positioning wasn't great, but I wanted to save ground. I wanted to save stamina. But you know what? That, that That's fine. Not even bothered. She's not really a grade one horse anyways, so that's fine. I still think she can do better, and I still think we'll be able to, to get her to that point. Where at least she can maybe have a show in a, in a grade one. Um... So, yeah, I'm not really disappointed with that. I guess um, maybe keeping her closer to the front would have helped her more, would have given her more of an edge and stretch, and she would have been less demotivated. She definitely seemed to get uh, demotivated as soon as those other horses passed her. So I'm still looking for G1s. Um, 
Uh, there's like nothing she can run in for a while, to be honest. Next best thing would be like a grade two. There's a couple grade threes here and there. There's some opens. I'd rather run her in a grade three, to be honest. So we'll do that with her in September. Give her a little bit of a layoff. And again, we'll just continue to, um, you know, continue to be patient. That's the thing in this game. Some things are going to take time. Some things aren't going to go according to plan. You're not always going to win every race. You're not going to dominate all the time. You'll have bad races. That's just natural. But the main thing is bouncing back and learning. So I think I know what I need to do with her going forward. We're up a Secret Keeper. Again, he's going to have bad odds. It is what it is. So all I want to see is some fighting effort. Um, we ran him to the front, I think, in his last race. And that did not work well. So this time out, I'm actually going to try to keep him in the back. And just start him a lot sooner. That's the thing. Uh, definitely, with a horse that doesn't have great stamina yet, running at the front is going to be more exhausting. So I'm I'm going to keep him at the back here. He gets a great start. That's fine. We're just going to let the field just, like, pass us or not. Okay? Like, the time I don't do anything, then the field doesn't want to move. It's unbelievable, this game. When I'm trying to get my horse to the front, guess what the rest of the field is doing? Fighting me for the front. When I'm literally like, you know what? I'm just going to coast, and we're just kind of just going to chill here in the back. Oh, the field is in no rush. It's a Sunday stroll. It's a beautiful Sunday with the sun out, and we're just going on a stroll. Now, today that I'm recording this is actually a Friday, but you guys get the point. Even though the sun is out, it's actually beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's just like, ah, the AI in this game, they're, they're really funny. And we're really far back, and again, he has he has a lot of stamina left. I mean, like, a lot. Holy cow. So, yeah, I'm going to get him moving up here. Bad position. Oh, I know his positioning is bad, but I got to get him moving now. Like, I cannot afford to be sitting that far behind. Yeah, his positioning thing is weird, because he doesn't have closer speed yet. So, like, I'm going to have to do what I just did. You know what I mean? I don't know what this horse in front of me is doing, so, okay, that's fine. All right, no secret keeper. I just want to see some fight, man. Just want to see some fight. You still have stamina left. You still have stamina left. He's still doing pretty well here, considering we're supposed to be like way back there. He's still doing okay. Still doing okay. He didn't get left completely in the dust. He pretty much stayed with most of the midfield. I'm okay with that. Not sure if we were supposed to finish a little bit higher, but I I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, we're supposed to finish 12th. Yeah, we still ended up beating... And Stretch was double S. Yeah. Like, they're going to say what they want about the position. But it is what it is. Like, I can't really do anything else with him currently. He doesn't have the speed <laughs> to get up to the front that quick. And again, he's always left with a lot of stamina. So I have to get him going like that. Even the game's like, Oh, positioning! Positioning is off! Y'all positioning is off, horse racing gamer! It's like, bro, I can't do that. Gallup Racer. I can't do that. I just can't, man. Not with him. Not yet. So that was a really good result. I'm actually happy with that. Like, little stuff like that I think matters to me. It just it shows progression, and that's all I want. I'm a very patient person, and I'm all for the progression. Now, we can run him in an open. Let's run him at eight and a half furlongs at the Volcano. For Secret Keeper. I have this weird thing of just always just kind of switching my voice randomly. There's I, there's, I don't know what the reason is for it. I don't know the science behind it. I just like to do it. Not to make fun of anybody. It's generally because I, I do like um, other accents from other places in the world. I, I think as an American, we are extremely boring. And we're annoying. So, uh, yeah. I just like to show respect to the other cultures and places in the world. Anyways, we're off with perfect art. This is... Technically our best original to date. He's from Crimson Art out of Perfect Partner. He has okay odds here today. And again, he's a turf horse. So she, I keep calling him a he. Why? Perfect Art. Let me put some respect on the lady's name, right? I'm so sorry. You, you beautiful thing. Perfect Art. All we did was give her pink and yellow bandages because her both of her parents pretty much had nothing. But I at least wanted her to have something. And again, she has okay stats. I expected a little bit better in the guts category and maybe the speed but it's okay and, and granted she still will probably develop for a year or two and if we have good results with her these stats will also in, you know increase these traits um she wants to run towards the front but not be a leader that is perfect i think she has the speed and stamina to really be strong i'm hoping she's really just like her father pretty much crimson was that type of horse Crimson was strong and powerful to run at the front and did not have to be leading. That's what made him such an enjoyable horse for me. 
Probably one of my favorite horses I've ridden in Gallup Racer in, in a while. I really forgot how great of a horse he was. Like, e even as much as like I love Sedate Ruler and Western Tiger and Desert Diver, I would have to say Crimson Art has by far been my favorite horse I've worked with. Above Great Bolero. Like, Crimson was amazing once he really got into his stride, man. He was really amazing to work with. And the Purple Car, she's got a lot of stamina left, so I'm going to get her going, like, now. Let's, let's, let's bust this wide open here. Let's see if she has enough. The six is coming. The six is coming. Ah, over whipped. But perfect art. She still might get through to the end. There goes the six. Oh, she's dropping. I dropped her stamina too much. Hold on, gal. Oh, it's going to be fifth. That's fine. That's fine. I definitely mismanaged her stamina in the stretch. That is a great effort. That's a great result. And that, I, I felt a lot of, a lot of power, a lot of promise in that. Yeah, that, that's a solid run, man. I felt a lot of good stuff from there. I'm really happy. Perfect Art. She she could end up being the next perfect partner in Crimson Art. She she could be that. That's a solid run. I'm telling. I feel really good with her. Another great filly. I feel really good with her. So I am so excited to to continue to work with her. Really excited. Now we could have won that race. I totally mismanaged the stamina. I accidentally overwhipped her. And um, she has really good health. That's the great thing. We can just run her back to back quite a bit. Now, I can put her in a grade three, and I think I am. I definitely want to test her. I want to test her in a grade three. But yeah, I just, that, that felt amazing. I know it was only a fifth place finish, but I promise you, I felt really good with her. I just know now how I need to ride her, essentially. I felt really good with her, man. And she's up again. Fantastic. Yes. Again, our odds aren't going to be great. That doesn't matter. We're grade three currently yeah i'm ready to rock and roll i know what i need to do now i still probably could have waited a little bit in that stretch and perfect partner her mother has the record how bittersweet imagine if she wins here today she wins at a course that her mother set the record at that would be pretty nice man and again she's like crimson i don't really have to do much to actually get her to the front once she's here like, she gets there really quickly, and then, boom, that's it. She's here, you know? <laughs> Perfect art is on the scene. Make way for the queen. Make way for the queen. I love it, man. I, I feel like I'm really riding with Crimson Art again, and then I feel that same power and speed from, like, her mother now. I'm going to stay here. I'm kind of just going to stalk. I'm gonna do a little bit of stalking here. Here we go. She's fast, man. I'm telling you. Revolution, let's go. This could be it. This could be it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, gal. I got to stay on the whip. I got to stay on the whip. Close in. Close in. Are these horses going to tire out? No. The 14 goes by. Oh, I thought that was going to be the win. I still think it's a... It, I think that's a fourth. I think we just got there. Yeah, man. Perfect art. I'm loving her already. We're not winning yet, but I'm, it's going to happen. You, get, It's going to happen. We're supposed to finish 10th. We finished fourth in a grade three. I don't know when's the last time I've gotten double S's on everything. Yeah, she's going to be awesome, man. She is going to be fantastic. I feel it already. It's going to happen. You guys hear it now. You hear me saying it. It's going to happen. She's going to be a great original. She could be our best to date in this game. She's not there yet, but she could be. I'm telling you. Oh, man. What a Philly so far. I think her stats are improving, but I feel really good. That's two finishes in the top five already. And, uh... Let's run her six. Yeah. She has the speed. She she really does have... I really feel both of her parents, like, in her as far as how she runs. I really do. That's what I love about this game. I love that you can really feel kind of both characteristics of the parents in your originals once you get them on track and you get in, in rhythm with them. That's, like, a really humbling feeling, man. It's just fun, you know, because it's like you get to still ride on a horse that you love and even better sometimes. You know, you ride on a horse like Crimson Art or Laughing Hawk or Fast Navy and then you have foals with them and then their foals run like they do. You know, same thing would go with like Phillies for Aunt B or, you know, Scotch Dancer, Scott, you know, just uh, so many great horses that once you create foals and you're able to run on those foals like you can still feel the parents you know what i mean so just kind of like that that part of the horses that part of their lineage you know essentially never dies so it's always nice to still have that so we're up a secret keeper 
not great odds. Uh, so we're just going to run our race and see what we can do. Again, he is a weird leg type. He either wants to be leading or he wants to be very far at the back. Um, like I said, I'm glad that we at least have some flexibility, but it is a little bit tricky to manage depending on the race. So I kind of have to race him on the fly, you know? And again, he doesn't have closing speed, but he's also a late developer. I keep, you know, I have to keep reminding myself he's a late developing horse. Um, and I still think he'll be good. I don't know if he'll be as good as Perfect Art, quite honestly. But I still think he'll be good. I can still see him winning a grade one. I just don't know exactly when that's going to happen. We're still probably a year and a half away from that. So it's just patience with Secret Keeper, man. Just patience with him. And again, I just wish he had more speed. His stamina, I think, has been fine for the most part. But it's his speed that I am like, lacking. Now, i got to get him moving a little bit because we are really, really, really far back. But I think we've managed his stamina quite well. Now, this is one of those weird tracks I was telling you guys about. I'm going to have to whip now because we are really far back. Really far back. So let's just see how much ground we can make up. I probably could have... I clearly should have started a lot sooner, honestly. I, I didn't realize this was one of those type of tracks. He just doesn't have the speed. If he had more late close, uh, late minute closing speed, we could definitely catch up a lot sooner. But gosh, this is what I mean. He has so much stamina when he's running at the back. It's like I have to get him going like at four and a half furlongs. The longest I've ever had to go for a horse, I think, is like four furlongs. But he, we really have to get going at like at four and a half with him. Stretch is deep. Well, yeah, I was like, I mean, I was 12 lengths off the lead, basically. And he doesn't get up to top speed quickly either. He takes a while. So I, I just have to get him going a lot sooner. That's all I can do because he doesn't have the speed and the stain and the quickness, essentially, to accelerate the top speed quickly. He takes a while. Dear Puffy, she's down to a grade two and B still in the field. We got Happy Trial. We got TJI Friday. Nice. <laughs> Tender Club, Frugal Lark. This is a stacked G2 field. I've said it in this game, man. Like, grade one, grade two, grade three, even open. Sometimes you just get really stacked fields. Like, this could easily be a grade one race, and it's just a grade two, which is still just as important. And again, we're going to bet on ourselves. This time, I'm actually going to go for the whole thing. I think we can win this. We've been beating these these gals, pretty much. We've been beating these gals and the boys. Dear Puffy, she's been a very quiet dominator. You know what I mean? She has really strong heart. She fights incredibly in the stretch. You know, but she's not, like, just blowing fields away like Scotch Dancer or Perfect Partner or Crimson Art were doing. But she, she really digs in. This filly right here really digs in. She really shows you her heart. So I, I really am appreciating that about her. She just has she has a very quiet dominance about her, you know? And I love that in a Philly for sure. So let's try to get this G2 win. Yeah, Secret Keeper, I really want to do better with him. Like I said, he is he is kind of tricky inherently. He really is. Because he's from Crimson Art and Ditsy Do. So he still has a little bit of that Philly in him. And Ditsy was great. I mean, I really enjoyed her. Um, but I think it's, you know, I'm thinking both of the parents' abilities are kind of kind of conflicting a little bit. Like, if he was purely just like Crimson Art, I think I would have him, I would have him dialed in already. But I'm not quite there yet. Because Crimson Art and Ditsy do were quite opposite as far as how they ran and their stats. I think they both were front runners, but they definitely were different in that regards. Um... So yeah, I, I would like to get things figured out with Secret Keeper, and I think I will. It's just going to take time, and again, he's still developing himself, so it's like we both still have to grow together, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to happen in a year with us. We're just going to have to take our time. So dear Puffy, we're going to get her moving right now. Save as much ground as we could. Get her going. No Revo. That's fine. And there we go. Last corner leader, but she's dropping. The six is rolling. And she's going to fall to the six. Maybe the 13. No, I think we're just getting the 13. So she holds on for second. And that's fine, actually. We weren't even supposed to be anywhere near the top three. <laughs> that's fine. I'm okay with that. And Happy Trial ends up winning anyways. Yeah, we were supposed to be seventh, so... Double S on the stretch burst. We still win our, our place and show bets. That's still a success, nonetheless. We're not going to win all the time. I'm fine with that. That was a good result. Good result. We still ended up 
Uh, tapping into last corner leader. So that means we, like I said, we nailed the stretch. Just happy trial. Clearly the better horse. That was a tough field anyway, so. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I think that's a really solid result there. So, dear Puffy, she is dropping. That's a little bit sooner than I thought. I think. Her stats are dropping a little bit. I don't feel like she's raced that much. I mean, her average growth type, average does usually mean four or five years old, I guess, depending on the conditioning of the horse. What we're going to end up doing, since there's no G1s suitable for her, we will drop her into a grade three. Eight furlongs. See how she handles the shorter distance. Secret Keeper. So how many times have I raced him? Six times. Again, Crimson Arc raced, I think, what, close to 50 times. He was well over 40. So Secret Keeper is definitely going to be a horse that can have a very long career. His stats are improving slowly but surely. They are getting better. But yeah, uh, what regiment do I have him on? Just balance. Yeah, like, no. Uh, I, I really want to focus on speed with him. I feel like if that comes into play, everything else will fall much nicely. He just doesn't have that speed that I want yet. So until I decide to change it, just speed. And I sometimes forget to check this. As balance training, like I said, it's good, I think, when all your stats are pretty average and they're pretty high. If we do, if we stick to that now, the you know... He won't improve by that much. Inherently, I just think he needs more speed. Um, more speed, maybe more power, actually, when I th think about it. His power is 31. Breaking is 44. Response is 59. I'm going to stick with speed for now. I think that'll solve a lot of issues. Perfect art. You beautiful thing. Let's get you back in another race. Oh, we already have you in a race. So who? Dear Puffy? No. Everybody's in a race, right? No, see your keeper. Duh. Duh, Eric. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that done here. Um, probably look for an open for him. Yeah, I guess we'll do nine for a long... He has the stamina. That's the weird thing. His stamina's not even great, but he has it. Like, there's only been one race with him that we've tired out on. Every other race, we've had too much left, and I've been annoyed at myself. I keep forgetting to upgrade the facilities. I will do that after this race. It will indeed. All right, here we go. So, perfect art. She's up again. She's in a G3. Better odds today. This puts us in the top five in the market. So we actually have a chance to win. I'm not going to bet on myself. We're just going to rock and roll here. Okay. So, her starters, whatever. I'm not worried about that. Again, let's get her to the front. Like I said, she gets to the front just like her father. It's pretty amazing. Like, it's just, it's so quick and it's so powerful. Like, look, like, she's just, it's just instant. And that's the thing, her response is great. 79 response. So that is nice. Like, Secret Keeper, his response isn't terrible, but I wish he had more of that. Because I think that would really help him. Now, Perfect Guard could get her first win here. I'm going to keep her right in between these horses. I'm going to keep her in between. She's got plenty of stamina. Now we're going to move to the inside. We're going to roll with Perfect Art. No Revo, it's fine. She's got a ways to go here. Field is closing furlong left. Did I go too soon? Did I go too soon because I have gassed her out? Oh, man. Ah, oh, it went way too soon. Gosh, that's awful because that was definitely our race to win. Darn, that's my fault. Oh, that's my fault. I think I'm, I feel like I'm whipping a little bit too early as well. So perfect art. Yeah, bad stretch, I know. So, I need to wait a little bit with her, actually. Going at the normal spurt time to go, it doesn't really work with her. I need to wait a little bit more. Because she has a lot of... She, she gets up to speed very quickly, but she will tire out. I read Daisy. She's the long shot today in the G3. Like I said, she's pretty much... Pa I think she's past her prime. So, we can retire her any moment. I'm just going to continue to race her, see if I can get her a G1 by the end of this year. If not, then I'll retire her. But yeah, perfect yard. That's totally my fault. That's not even a race to like be stressed about. I, I will bounce back. I will bounce back. Um, like I said, just uh, need to start a little bit later because she really does. She get she gets up to speed really quick. Like she is a very powerful filly. So I just need to be a little bit more patient and give her a little bit more time. That's what I need to do. Because prior to that, she finished fourth and fifth, and she wasn't supposed to even be cl close to that. So she she has it. She definitely has it. 
I just need to be a little bit more patient. Give her a little bit uh, more time, and then um, then 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 we'll go. So it's coming, guys. It's coming. Give me a little bit of time. I'm still adjusting, but I will get it figured out with her. Like I know what it is. I know what it is. So. Okay, Red Daisy, you have a lot of stamina left. You're going to move in just to move out. Unbelievable. Okay. Strong heart, so that's good. That's very good for Red Daisy here. It's very good. She's still fighting. Now, I think the, fight, the one horse is kind of pulling away. Red Daisy, she's still fighting. I think she was the long shot today anyway. She wasn't supposed to have a chance. Not going to finish in the money, but you know what? That's fine. That is fine for Red Daisy. She's past her prime anyway, so if she finishes better than her odds, I am okay with that. She's supposed to finish 12th, we finish 8th, double S on the stretch, so that's a win for me, man. I'm cool with that. I'm a very easy guy to please in that regards. I don't need a whole lot. The very simple and small things can mean a lot to me. All right, let's upgrade facilities after I get Red Daisy in another race. Um, probably gonna give her a little bit of a layoff. Try to maybe give her an a G. Actually, I'll run her in the. Can I run Secret Keeper yet in the Osaka? I don't think I can. No, Perfect Art is who I'm thinking about, right? No, oh, she's a Turf Force. Secret Keeper. I'll put Red Daisy in the Osaka. I know she doesn't have much of a chance of winning it, but I still think it'll be a good experience for her. I don't have any other horses I could put in there anyway, so we might as well. Perfect Dart. I, I'm close. I'm going to get it figured out with you. Don't give up on me. Now, as far as the regiment that we should do for her, balance training wouldn't necessarily be the greatest because her guts, her temper, her feel, and her braking, and her power are all pretty bad. Like, they're not great. But I would like to still focus on perhaps stamina. I think her guts is fine. Like, if anything, she just needs the stamina. So I'm going to do stamina focus for a little bit. Her speed is fine. I don't think I really need to touch that. Um, like, her temper, you know, it is what it is. I'm not really worried about it. Guts, maybe. Get a little bit of that in. But yeah, I kind of want to just focus on stamina and guts, to be honest. Because, like I said, some of the, her other stats are too low enough to even bother with. So, stamina and guts, I, I'm completely fine with her speed. And that's not the problem. She has plenty of speed. I just need to make sure I get just I get her going when it's right, and I have to be a little bit more patient. So, can we get her into a grade one? I was going to say, let's go ahead and really test her. Um, we can rest, race her seven. I'd rather race her a shorter distance. I know these are going to be tougher, but let's race her against the gals in the Fountain Stakes. Get her her first G1 test, and uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that facility before I forget for like the 15th time. Extend! Let's get the Fiber Sand. I'll get the Poly Track later. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of how the tracks look um, in a lot of uh, places that mainly have warmer climates so yeah poly track is next and it's gonna cost 250 g's we gotta start from zero. Oh, how unfortunate we'll get back up though all it takes is hitting one trifecta in one race and we'll be right back to there so i'm not worried as i usually say we're up with dear puffy in a grade three we dropped during class and uh pretty competitive g3 field this is what i mean these grade ones and grade twos and grade threes, they have all been pretty competitive. Uh, I think I will place the bet on us with her. We should be able to get the win if I do this right. Like, she, she's never really the favorite. She's only been the favorite a couple of times. We've still won plenty of races with her, so... Um, yeah, the game clearly doesn't think she's that good of a horse. As usual, they are incorrect in their assessments. Good horses, they underestimate. And... I should say great horses, they underestimate. And then, like, the kind of close to great but maybe goodish horses they think are like the greatest things ever usually that's how it works i mean again they think major river is like a star major river still has not beaten us once the game still thinks she's a star still thinks she's like a powerhouse horse in my playthrough she's not maybe you guys have had experience with major river being an absolute monster on the track 
In our game, she is merely a nuisance. Honestly, she's just kind of there in the way. Well, not even in the way. We've always had front runners, and we've always been been ahead of her. Yeah, she's just just kind of like a mosquito that's just there. It's just like uh, just just kind of buzz off. Like you're not doing anything, really. You're just kind of just being annoying. You know what I mean? You're a puffy. We're gonna sneak her through if I. Can. I'm trying to sneak her through. This gap is there, but she's just like not getting through it. Go! Or maybe it wasn't there. Okay. Maybe the gap actually wasn't there. <laughs> I thought it was. Revolution. Let's go. And I think we're going to run away with this. This is when I should be starting my spurts with Perfect Art. She's a similar horse in that regard. I've been starting her way too early. I need to be a little bit more patient. And that's going to be a G3. Easy win for Dear Puffy. As I said, she is a great horse. She's a very quiet great horse. If you run her right, you're going to win. You're going to win a lot with her. You're going to earn a lot with her. She just does it in a very quiet fashion. And I'm not complaining. Another G3 win. Rack it up. Rack it up. That counts. It counts. We're supposed to finish third. We finished first. And we win 14 Gs. All right. So we're already working our way back up. I wonder if after I upgrade this Polytrack um, track. Did I say Polytrack track? I wonder if I upgrade it, will it actually be like the last upgrade for our facilities? I'm genuinely curious. Uh, let me go ahead and save right quick, and we'll continue rolling. It'll be another long episode, as these have been. I don't know how long this one will be. Maybe two hours? I guess it depends when I get hungry. I have not eaten today. So whenever I want to get hungry, or want to eat, I should say, is probably when I'll cut it. But I can still manage. So yeah, her stats are dropping. She's hit her peak already at four, but... Again, you know, we haven't raced her a whole bunch, but out of our 12 races, still 8 wins. She's already halfway to 100k. Like, that's pretty crazy. And 4G1. So she really is doing... She, she's doing well. And again, I'm going to continue to race her until she just can't win anymore. Because as long as she can continue to win like this... Now, I still think I should test her in G1. So I think I'll put her in that King Cup Autumn, to be completely honest with you. Um, I could drop her in, like, a G2... And then see if she'll be ready for the G1. Three weeks? Let me see. We just raced her. She might still be in the green if I raced her now. That's the problem. Yeah. You know what? I'll just save her for the King Cup Autumn. I think that's more important. We'll do that. Alright. We're getting through the year. Getting through the year. Wait, we have three originals. Is everybody's training regiment set up properly? Red Daisy, what are we even doing with you? Just balance. You know what? I'm going to see what happens if we were to try to focus. Her guts is, is already pretty solid. Um, Maybe a little bit more speed? I'm just going to see what happens. I, I just want to see if like that this can help her in performance. Because her stats are balanced. Technically, I should stick to balanced training. But I don't feel like nothing is changing with her. Especially since she's already past her peak, past her prime. So I'm just curious, if we just try to focus on her speed training, can it make a difference for us in the stretch? So experimentation. Again, this we don't have this in any of the other God Racer titles, so kind of figuring out what actually works for you and your horses, I think it's pretty important to play around with that. Because I think it, you have to do it according to the horse. You can't just set up the same training regimen with every horse and expect to get great stats. That, that literally will not work. You have to obviously tune the training for the horses and their stats. So that's why I want to kind of play around with that and just kind of see, you know, what can work and what maybe won't work. Um, so, yeah. Are we up with my lady? No, we're up with Secret Capa. Technically her half-brother. And again, long shot odds. Late developing horse. As long as we are doing better than our odds, which we have been for the most part, we should be good. And again, because he doesn't have great braking and power... Just takes him a, quite a while to get up to full speed. So I really got to get him going early. Now, you see, we got a great start. I don't want to lead, but watch. The field is not even going to challenge us. I mean, they kind of do. They kind of don't. Like, ay, ay, ay. What I'm actually going to have to... I, okay. You know what? I, I keep forgetting. He doesn't like the pack. Okay. I think I remember that popping up. Yeah, see, he's very interesting. Like... He can lead, or he needs to be a closer. Uh, he doesn't like the pack. He takes forever to get up to top speed. 
He's just, he's a very interesting horse. I think I'm just literally going to save ground on the inside here. I don't think it makes sense to try to move. We're not expected to finish high anyways. And again, I have to get him going sooner. The game will be like, oh, bad positioning, bad positioning. But it's like, I can't do anything about that, really. And the pack, like, I can't do anything about either. Like, this is just what I have to do with him in, the, in his current state. We're getting blocked. That's going to happen. We're still, we still have a lot of stamina. We are just blocked. As soon as these horses open up, I think we're good to go. I'm moving over. Or I'm going to stay here. We have a lane. Can we push it? I don't know. He's still dropping down the order. I thought we had a good run there. Still dropping down the order. Huh. That's really weird. I thought we saved a lot of stamina and ground being stuck behind those horses because we weren't really able to run full speed. And, um... Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe keeping them at the back is not actually best. I I thought that would work. But maybe... Like I said, he, he's, he's tricky. He's very tricky. I'm still working. Now, she, perfect art. She's the long shot in today's G1. That's fine. You guys saw the Phillies? I want to see what she's capable of. And I want to see if I can bounce back with her. Like I said, I got to wait a little bit, I think. Not going to bet. But yeah, perfect art. We're going to try to see what we can do here. Yeah, Secret Keeper is, um, he's tricky. So it's good that he's a late developing horse. That means I have time to, like, get things together with him. Because remember, in the beginning of Crimson Art's career, I wasn't doing great with him. I was having pretty solid results, but I wasn't knocking it out of the park. You know, there were times where it looked like I wasn't, me and him weren't going to work. And he literally dominated, man. Our best horse on this game so far. So, Secret Keeper, his son, could definitely be a similar story. I just think he'll be a little bit trickier because, again, now we have an original with traits from both parents. Crimson Art is just a Gallup Racer original, you know what I mean? We don't even know who the parents are, but with Secret Keeper, him being uh, our original from two different parents, he's definitely going to have uh, different things. And see, oh, Perfect Art, please, please, guy. okay, just wanted you to slow down a bit. Gosh, she wanted to go full head of steam, man. This is good. But yeah, Secret Keeper, he's just tricky because he is a mix of both of his parents. So just trying to balance that out is obviously the thing. Hope she, is, she should have enough stamina to make a run here. Perfect art. She's hanging in there, but she's still dropping. Yeah, her stamina drops really quickly, man. I wonder if I have to get her going even sooner. Is that possible? Because she'd be that much of a... I mean, her mother was really a strong closer. Keep in mind, we had to do that with... Perfect partner had to sit in the back and pretty much her races all really happen within like a furlong and a half in the stretch. So I may have to do that with a perfect art. We finished, I mean, we were supposed to finish 13th. We finished one spot lower. But because her stamina has been dying out in the last two races that I've ran with her, and I don't feel like we've been working her too hard. That race was not great because she wanted to run full speed down the hill. Which, uh, she doesn't have a good power rating, so that obviously contributes to that. But, yeah, I, I think I still have to wait a little bit longer. I, I guess I'm not really used to that. And like I said, Secret Keeper stats are still improving. Slowly. It's like snail, snail pace, but it's fine, man. Continue to work with him. I have patience. But, yeah, perfect art. I'm starting to think. I might have to be, a I have, to be even more patient with you. Because, yeah, she's 5 to 8. She really is a strong, close quarter sprinter like her mother. I think I genuinely... It's weird. It's like I have to start her a little bit later, but I also have to get her ahead of the horses. It, it's very, it's a very tricky thing. At least for her ability closer. Like she likes to be overtaking horses into the final turn. I'll drop her to an... Uh, I'll, I'll do this. This uh, 8 for a long opener. Or open. But yeah, it's, you know, again, it's just a little bit tricky to manage. Of course, I've done well with her in the, her first two races, so it's not like I can't. But I guess depending on the race, the course, all of that, I need to be a little bit more mindful. So Seeker Keeper, better odds here today. 
Running him at the back hasn't really been working like I thought. He definitely has more stamina, but we're not really catching any horses. We're still, like, finishing behind them, so... I may try to put him in the lead, to be honest. I may try it. And just hope that we can really manage our stamina well with him. That's about it. So, again, we're still figuring things out. That's really what this episode is about. We're figuring things out with... Our newest originals that are both from Crimson Art. It's the first time I've had this, so just trying to really figure out what, what works best for them. I'll get there. Trust me. I'll get there. Like I always say, I will. Just taking a little bit more time than I expected, I guess. That's the thing. If you breed two parents and run exactly the same, I mean, you really shouldn't have any issues with the originals, right? And we've had that in previous series, like 2004. But in this game, I've really... The horses I have been breeding, they have not been similar in any way. Like, you know, the broodmares and the, and the sires, the studs, they have been polar opposites in some aspects, with the exception of, like, two horses. So it is quite the adjustment. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to go on the whip just yet. Now we will. So it's a late whip with him. He's still dropping down the order. Still dropping quite a bit. But we still might finish a little bit better. Ah, oh, no. Completely gassed. Yeah, it's just been a stamina problem. And I generally don't feel like I've been managing my stamina terribly with these horses. I really don't. I don't feel like I've been that bad with it. I'm supposed to finish 10th. We finished 9th. Stretch was S. Hmm. Yeah, Seeker Keeper, he's very weird. It's like, if we run him in the back, he still tires out. We run him in the front, he still tires out. It's weird, and then there's races where he has plenty of stamina left. I'm just like, okay, what is it, bro? Red Daisy's up in the Osaka Mile. Better odds here. Uh, let's see what she can do. But yeah, see, he's so... It's in, it's really tricky, I promise you. It, it may seem like a simple fix. It's really tricky. He's a very interesting, unique horse that I haven't really run with in most of my God Racer series. Could be leading or could be a closer. Still developing. Um, doesn't quite have the speed to really go to the front quickly and to establish a, a dominating lead. He doesn't have great acceleration. His stamina is good sometimes. Like Sometimes he has too much stamina and sometimes he doesn't have enough. I promise you, he's actually a pretty tricky horse. Way trickier than I expected from breeding Crimson Art and Ditsy Do, but maybe that's why you don't always do those type of breedings. You know, I bred a double S horse like Crimson with Dipsy, who was a average B to C uh, original. And I get Secret Keeper, and he is about as confusing as confusing can be. But again, he's still developing. I don't know if he'll just, if the things would just get easier as he gets better. But um, yeah, I promise you, he is definitely an interesting horse, man. He's a tricky one to try to manage. Don't move into my lane. Why do they do that? It's so rude, man. So rude. And then it messes me up because I have to readjust. Okay, Red Daisy. She's fighting back. And that's... It, it's annoying because if we would have stayed in that lane, we really could have had a strong run in this stretch. She's not going to finish in the money, but it's still going to be, what, 7th? No. Yeah, 7th. 7th place from the G1. She can still run with the G1 horses. It's not like she can't. Just not quite there to win it. But that was a pretty good race. So, like I said, for her and where she's at, I'll take those. And we're still getting points. That's also what matters. We have plenty. Not that we need that much. Alright. So, Secret Keeper, you are confusing, bro. You are really confusing. Okay, I keep doing that. Solo. Performs well than more than when more than two. I keep forgetting that he has that ability. So I guess I really do have to keep him to the front. <sighs> yeah, you're, you're you're tricky, man. We'll get it figured out. I have faith in you. That's the thing. I have faith in this horse. I'm not worried. I just wish I knew what it was now because I feel like we could tap into that a little bit early. But again. I have to be patient. Crimson Art literally took like two years, so. I need to be more patient. 
So yeah, Red Daisy, she's still having pretty solid results in most of her races. Like we're still getting points. And I'm just gonna keep running her in G1s, honestly. Like she's at she's at the end of her prime. We might as well try to get her a G1 win if we can. She's still earning points. Um there's nothing to lose, like, with her. You know what I mean? Like, can really just kind of do whatever. I don't need to retire her at this moment. Like I said, I will at the end of this year. So she's only going to have maybe another two or three races tops, and then we'll retire her. And uh, I think I'm going to replace one of the other broodmares that uh, she can probably replace. Perfect Guard, she's up. Better odds here today. Let's not mess this up, Eric. All right. Like I said, I think I have to wait a little bit to get going with her. I really do. Kramer's King Kramer's King has the record here. How do you unlock that horse in this game? Because I was looking for him. He's clearly like a special horse you have to get. I just don't know how to get him. If anybody knows how to unlock Kramer's King, please let me know in the comment section below. Because I would really love to have him in this game. Um, I think he would be a blast to run with in this game. I never played with him in 2003. But yeah, please. Um, how do you unlock Kramer's King? For anybody that, that may know. Okay. She's so powerful, man. She really does have both of those traits from both Crimson Art and Perfect Partner. She is a really powerful filly, man. You can just feel it. Like I said, I think I have to wait a little bit for her. She she just, you know, she has really good, you know, closing speed when it counts. I'm going to let the field tire out. Now I'm going to go. Now I'm going to go. And let's see what Perfect Art can do. She's catching the field. Is this gap going to free up? I have no idea. She's still catching the field because they all gassed themselves out. She's still catching. She's still catching. Okay, that's better. I think we were supposed to finish a little bit higher. A little bit higher. If we finish, what, eighth? Yeah, we're supposed to be much higher than that. Yeah, I was supposed to finish third. Bad stretch. Yikes. Okay, so I probably should have went sooner. Obviously, Eric. Okay. I thought that would have worked to let them tire themselves out. Uh, I can get away with that sometimes, but I guess not yet. Dear Puffy's actually the favorite today in the King Cup Autumn. That's great. I mean, I'm not really surprised. She's still great. She can still run with the best of them. And she's still winning, most importantly. So why wouldn't she be? It's probably because I talked it up. I literally just said, like, she's never the favorite, and now, like, she is. But, yeah, perfect dart. Again, that's my fault. I really thought just letting the field tire themselves out would have worked. Genuinely, I believed it. Because she's such a fast horse. Usually on fast horses, I can do that. And you guys have seen me do that countless times to win G1s. I can get away with that, like, 9 out of 10 times. But I guess for that race, that was not the time to do it. No worries. Now, I got to get it together with Perfect Art sooner than later. I can't ruin her career by continuing to, like, mess up, mess up easy races for her. Okay. So, Dear Puffy's pretty, uh, pretty much in a good place here. But yeah, Perfect Art, I'll get it together. Secret Keeper is legitimately confusing. Like, I think it's still part of me having to be patient and wait for the horse to develop on top of still figuring him out. Perfect Art, I think she's ready to go right now. I'm just, um, I just need to really make sure I, I, I get that dialed in with the stretch. Because that's where we're losing the race. So I think I just need to be a little bit better at making sure I'm getting my stretches timed properly. And I'm not uh, using too much of her stamina. Outside of that, I think she's ready to go right now, so. I'll get there. I, I, I will. Alright, here we go, dear Puffy. Come on, show them why you're the favorite here. Almost over whipped her. Strong Heart's got to tap in. She's still got plenty of stamina left. Come on, dear. Here we go. Here we go. Stretch burst. She's digging. She's pulling through. She's going to get this. She's going to get it. She's going to get it, man. She's going to get it at the line. We got it. This is what I mean. She's such a tough horse in the stretch. Oh, my gosh, man. She is a tough gal in the stretch. My goodness. 
it's almost scary. She is really like the the quiet, scary, dominant Philly man. She's and the thing is, she's very mild tempered. Her her temper rating is like what an eighty nine. So she really is like a quiet, powerful horse. Like she will not say much, but my goodness, when it gets down to it, when you get in deep stretch, she is as tough as any other filly out there on the track. She's the toughest, really. That's why she's winning. She's she's clearly the toughest. <laughs> I knew she'd be a good pickup, and the great thing is we can still run her like this probably for another year and a half. Dear Puffy, you go, girl. You go. You go, man. You go. <laughs> Double S on the stretch. Well, you go, girl. Seriously, man. She is. She is a tough, tough filly. So. So, yeah, 93, actually. I was wrong. Thought it was uh, lower than that. 93. Got to 79. Her stats are dropping because she's hit her prime, but you can see she's still. She's still in great, great shape, man. I want to get her to 100K in earnings for sure. She's already won 5 G1s, so I'm okay with that. But I think getting her to 100K would be nice. Actually, getting her double digits for G1 wins and 100K, that would be really solid. And um, See, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. So we can run her in the Continental. 12 furlongs, but I think that works. So we'll do that, and then perfect art. I'm so sorry the last two races have not gone accordingly. That's my fault. And um, I will get it figured out. Your yeah, power rating sucks, man. But outside of that, her stamina is average. Her speed is still okay. I'll, I'll get it together. Don't you worry. Um, we can run her in a grade two, or run her in an open. I actually run her, I, you know, I kind of want to run her in higher graded races. I won't feel as much pressure. I feel like if she's not winning opens, that'll be a problem. So I think it'll be better to keep her in those higher competitive uh, races. That's what I need to get used to anyways with her. I'm choosing to go a little bit of a different route. Secret Keeper, okay odds. Um, again, let's just try to perform better. And we do have to keep him in front. All of his abilities work with him leading at least by two lanes so I can't keep him as a closer which is weird again he has that running style but that doesn't work and those abilities are going to be extremely hard to tap into if we have him running as a closer it just but it just you can't make it's really hard to make it work in this game so um I'm just gonna have to get him to the front and just keep him ahead by a bit that's all I can do all right so Secret Keeper out in front here, comfortably. And apparently this is what I have to do for him. But again, he's still developing, so we just have to be patient. We can't really rush it with him. You know, it's easy to want to just be dominant already, especially if you've had that on maybe other originals. But certain ones, you really do have to be more patient with. So again, I want to make sure I'm keeping him ahead by about two lengths. I hope this doesn't become a problem because I don't want to do that again. We had another original that needed something similar, and that that just that's kind of an annoying thing to deal with in this game. I, I would rather not. Now he has plenty of stamina right now, plenty of stamina, plenty of stamina. He's still driving, still driving. Two is going to get past, and again he like drops down the order, but he's not even losing that much speed, man. So weird. That's what I mean. He's so weird. It just I don't know if it's just his stats just aren't there yet. There's really nothing I can do with him. We were supposed to finish eleventh, we finished tenth. They say stretch was B, whatever. Yeah, it's I, it's pretty tricky, man. Like like I said, I can't really run him as a closer. I would prefer to do that for sure, but it just doesn't really seem to work for his abilities. Like like I said, he's a horse that has characteristics that clash with each other like consistently. So it's really hard to find like the median, you know what I mean? Like it's extremely hard. I think, I, like I said, I'm gonna figure it out, but it, it's much more difficult. So it, it's challenging. Like it's actually a challenging aspect of the game, and I really, I really like that. So I'm gonna get him in just one more race for the end of the year. Well, he's already raced over ten times, I think, or close to ten. 
And like I said, he's going to be able to race for a while. Impost, okay, likes outside, okay. This is what I mean, his, his abilities are all conflicting. Like, he likes Clozo, Closer, excuse me, a solo runner. Which are both abilities that work best when you're leading and at the front. And then he likes outside, which typically is usually when you're running on the outside of the pack, whether it's three or four wide. So that's what I mean. His abilities are just all so conflicting, man. <laughs> so I promise you, it is really challenging to actually to work with him right now. Especially as he's developing. It's really challenging. I just I need to find the sweet spot. He's clearly a horse that needs that. I'm just not sure where it is yet. Perfect art. She's up today in a grade two. We're expected to finish like I think ninth or eighth. Not anywhere near the top five. So let's see if we can prove the doubters wrong. Yeah. I waited too long in our last race. That didn't work. Perfect start though, so that's good. Okay. Oh, she dropped a little bit, but it's fine. We'll get back up there. Yep. And she can still technically run midfield. Like, she doesn't absolutely have to be at the front. I know that's probably what will give her the double S's, but... She can still run here and be okay, so... I would prefer to get an inside trip, but I know she, I can't remember if she hates the pack or not. I'm gonna move inside. But I would like an inside trip, so I'm gonna try to get that for her. I'm ahead of you. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Let's see what she does here. Still gonna wait for the whip. No rebel, that's fine. Now this is a G2. I think she's showing a lot more heart here today. And we're catching these horses. We're catching some horses and then some other ones are passing us, so... I don't know where we're gonna get. Over whipped. I still think we ended up probably falling one spot shorter than where we were supposed to be. Oh. Yeah, one spot lower, bad stretch. I'm just inconsistent with her and Secret Keeper right now. Like I said, the Crimson Arts first falls. So um, I feel his running style in both of them still, but then it's also conflicting with the parents. So it is, um, yeah, it, it's just a timing thing, man. It's definitely a timing thing. I'm trying to figure out. I, I will get there as I always say I do. And I usually prove that right. It's just taking more time with these horses. Uh, what to do with you? What to do with you? Runner in six, I guess, in an open. Sad I didn't want to do that, but it was the only thing available. Maybe the last four races for these horses for the year. I don't think anybody's going for a title. Dear Puffy, maybe, actually, now that I think about it. She could be going for something. So maybe we'll get her, actually, in another race. So we're up with Red Daisy. Um... This could be one of her last races, actually. Because, like I said, I'm retiring her after this year. I might make this her last G1, to be honest with you. Granted, we could run her, I think, in a Tokyo Cup or Tokyo Derby. Or something else like that. Her or Secret Keeper. Quite frankly, I have more, a little bit more confidence in Red Daisy at this time. But we could run Secret Keeper in that, maybe. I'll see. I'm not sure. I think he'd still have to qualify for it. I don't even know if he's in the position for that. So I'll, I'll decide after this race. All right, here we go. So Red Daisy, like I said, I think this probably will be her last race unless we can get her in one more G1. I might do that, but... Yeah, she's had an, she's had an average career for one of our originals. She's pretty much fit right in line with most of the uh, the fillies that are now broodmares. Like she's pretty much done sim pretty similar maybe a little bit less she's only won two races i think some of them won a little bit more than that but yeah for the most part she's been pretty consistent you know we have had a couple of races where they weren't great but yeah she's been pretty consistent so we can retire her she'll just replace whichever broodmare is like the worst which i was already going to do anyways and then um we'll just go from there but yeah, so you're Keeper and Perfect Dart. You know, I definitely want to get it figured out with them sooner than later because they're Crimson Art's first foals. You know, but Seeker Keeper, I still think, like I said, is going to take more time. Perfect Dart, I think, like I said, she's ready to go now. So I really need to get her spurt dialed in. 
I had it done for the two first for the first two races, and I feel like I've kind of you know it's kind of been a little bit trickier to, to navigate since then. But I feel like the first two races has been pretty easy to kind of you know distinguish. May have gotten Red Daisy going a little bit too soon. Maybe not. I don't know. These other horses are just gonna fly past. Yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote for Red Daisy. So she's past her prime, so. You know, is what it is. So we'll retire her, replace her with one of the broodmares, keep it moving. But yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's that grinding period, man. That's on the stretch. So it's just that time period in the game for us, I guess, through this playthrough where we're really making that transition. Uh, dear Puffy, she's up. Long shot in the Continental. Why? They're giving her no chance here today. Why? That's unbelievable. I'm still going to bet on myself because I think the game is crazy. Like, she's the worst horse in this field. Currently. I'd be hard-pressed if the game was finally right for once, but I'm... Ugh. We're still doing really well with Dear Puffy. She just had a heck of a G1 win, battling other horses to win at the line. I don't know, man. This game doesn't make sense. What is new? Yeah. All right, let's just get to it. Almost a perfect start, so okay. I'm gonna get her to the front. That didn't take much time. Like, I swear to you, we win this race. This game is officially, like, on some... Just crazy stuff. I think they are highly, highly underestimating us. And they're overestimating the rest of the horses in this field. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe this does turn out to be a bad race. But we got a pretty good start. We've gotten to the front. She's comfortable. We haven't really had to do anything with her. This is this is all setting up for another G1 win for Dear Puffy. And again, it also proved that, you know, I am I know what to do on the horses that I'm in rhythm with now. The two newest originals, I'm still not there with them. So obviously the, the results are not going to be the same yet. i got to figure it out. And then once I do, the results will start to show that. So a deer puffy, I, you know, hey, we'll see. Now I think I want an inside trip. I think I want to try for one. I don't know if that will actually really work. Hmm. Actually, maybe I'll move her out. I'm gonna move her out a bit. Okay, here we go. Well, we're not winning. Unless one of her abilities tapped in at the last minute. Oh, there it is, but I don't think it's enough. Those horses are still a little bit ahead of us. Okay, so we don't actually win. But uh, she doesn't come in last. Like, she's not that bad. She's not a bad horse. So that's fine. You know, we're supposed to finish 14th. S on the stretch. That's fine. Alright, let's get the last couple of races done here. Yeah, not as uh, eventful of an episode as uh, previous ones. But, you know, that will happen sometimes. In fact, it always happens. I've been doing this for years. There's always these type of episodes where, you know, it's just not as dominant. But again, we're, we have horses that are still building for the future, and we have to get it figured out with them. Now, Red Daisy can run into Tokyo. Again, I don't know if I want to do that with her yet. I want to see if I can put Secret Keeper in that race. Even though we're struggling with him, I think that would actually be a pretty good test. So I'm going to see if we can do that, but I'm not sure if we can. So we have two races here today. Well, one Red Daisy. No, Secret Keeper. Are you even ready to go yet? Oh, he's already racing anyways. Duh. Which means that wasn't going to work. So that's fine. This will be Red Daisy's last race in the Tokyo Cup. 
Just want to send her out with the bang. And then, dear Puffy, I don't think there's anything for her to run in anyways yet. Let's see. Yep, dear Puffy is done for the year. So, still a great year for her. No complaints from me whatsoever. Alright, let's just try to end the episode strong. Let's just try to have better results. Not even going for wins. If it happens, it happens. Better out here today with Perfect Dart, but again, I gotta get the spurt timed right. It's just a little bit tricky with her. A little bit tricky. Um... Yeah. She does have a bad temper rating, though, so that could also be affecting why if she loses the head-to-head, -head, she she's just kind of done with the race. So I um, definitely got to keep her ahead. All right. Let's try to have a better result with her. I think we're supposed to finish maybe, like, sixth, maybe fifth. We're supposed to finish near the top five, just not quite exactly sure where. All right, so she gets an okay start. Okay, start... She's running pretty, pretty hard here. I would like to keep her at the rail. Okay, I would, well, that was the goal, but she can't be too far behind, and then she'll get uncomfortable. Alright, she's still, I feel like she still has a, a good amount of stamina left, so we'll get her moving. Actually, keep her inside. That got freed up way better than I thought. And she has a really good run here, Perfect Art. And there's the Closer ability. Much better here, guys. Much better. I don't know who that is. That's the 14 rolling up on us. Overwhipped her. Crap, crap, crap. I just may have thrown away place. Yeah, I think I just kind of... Uh, the, the whipping is really tricky. I just lost out on a place. But, better result. Much better result. That was an easy... That was a pretty easy race, though. We're supposed to finish third. Okay, so... That's still good. Um... But yeah, that was a much easier race for the most part. Once the lane freed up, I didn't have to really do anything. Those other horses staying in front of me kind of kept her stamina pretty high. So, still feel like she's gassing out a little bit at the end. But I, like I have to get her going soon. That's why we tapped in the closer. You know, if we waited any like it, if we don't get ahead of all the horses in the stretch, closer is just not going to happen for her. So, like I can't wait too long. I guess like I thought. You know, I was under the impression I could get away with that. Clearly, I can't. That ability helped her, I think, hold on to that P3. Granted, that's where she was supposed to finish, but without that, maybe she would have fallen down the order. So, Secret Keeper, middle of the road odds as per usual. And again, such a tricky horse, man. I keep him to the front, he gasses out. I run him at the back, he doesn't get to the front in time. And, you know, and sometimes he still gasses out. But he likes outside. And these tracks, they're just, they're such hard tracks to make a move on the outside because the corners are really, are really short. Turf tracks, they're much longer around turns three and four, so you have a longer time to kind of make, you know, moves with your horses. But in this game, on these dirt tracks, really tight. And I think if you don't have the power for it, your horse just kind of falls off. So I know I'm keeping them at the back right now. Um, quite a bit. But we're saving a lot of ground, saving a lot of stamina. That's all I really want to do at the moment. We didn't get a good enough start, and we had post position 14. Trying to get to the front was going to be extremely difficult anyways. And he doesn't have the speed to really make that happen. So, now, I know from previous experiences, I have to get him going like a lot sooner with this. Like a lot sooner. You know what I mean? Because he has so much stamina. So I really have to like... I really had to like work him to the front, man. Oh, I don't know what to do here. This is tricky. Much tricky. Get on the whip here. He's still got plenty of stamina left, Secret, does he? Uh, this could be better. This could be much better than previous. Alright, he's doing a lot better here today. Doing much better. I felt a little bit more in rhythm with him in this race. And he finishes pretty strong here at the end. I don't think it's a fifth, but that's his best race. That's our best race with them in quite some time. It felt a lot better. Uh, kept him to the back, had a lot of stamina, and ran him on the outside. Maybe that's what I got to do. We're supposed to finish tenth. We finished seventh, and we end up getting double S on the stretch. So that to me, that to me is a sign that that was a good race. So run him on the outside and keep him at the back, or at least at the front. I don't know how the front and the outside will work, but. 
Um, I'm just putting that in my notes because until I've noticed something else that works better, that's been the best. That I've that's the most comfortable I felt with him. Red Daisy, she actually has okay odds in today's G1. I'm not gonna bet on ourselves. We're just gonna go ahead and run. This will be the last race for the gal. Um, but like I said, until something else starts to work better, like I'm gonna continue to stick to that because I felt really good with them. And we didn't when that was finally a race, we didn't actually lose stamina at the line. I felt like his last five or six races, he just tired out at the line. And that race that we just did with him, that's the first time he didn't actually gas out. So I, I still do think he need, he's a horse that needs to save stamina. Just have an outside trip and just, you know, make sure you're timing it right. So I'll try that again with him. See if it works. Now, Red Daisy, we do have to get to the front. She does get to the front pretty quickly, so I have enjoyed that about her. Her stats are average. Like, she's pretty much low to mid 60s mid 50s horse so she's not terrible in hindsight for an e-ranked horse she's she's pretty she's she's pretty okay in that regards the red daisy it's been fun with you for sure But yeah, much better results than those last two races with our originals. Those are the results I wanted. I just wanted to see progress, and I wanted to feel like I made some improvements in figuring something out. I think I got to figure it out with uh, Secret Keeper a little bit better. And Perfect Dart, again, she really seems like she needs the perfect race, or she needs the ideal circumstances in a race. Um, but I think I know I just... It, she, her timing is a little bit meticulous. Like you actually have to really be on it at the exact time. I don't feel. I don't feel like she's as flexible with her spurts. You know what I mean? Red Daisy. She's actually digging in here. This is our last race. I don't think we're gonna get up for the win. But this is a solid effort in the stretch. Ah, over whip. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is gonna be a solid effort. I think we might s still finish lower than what we were supposed to but you know what she still ended up beating half of the field more than half of the field she finishes sixth yeah she just misses the money i think we'll still get points for that she was supposed to finish eighth and we get double s on the stretch that was a really solid run and i'm okay with that i'm happy to uh, retire red daisy to the breeding barn i don't think we'll breed with her to be honest with you since we can only do one a year anyways if this was galbraith 2004 and you can do multiple i would have but can't even do that with her so probably won't I don't think we're getting any awards. And we didn't. Social Drink wins Horse of the Year. Simple Moon Best Sprinter. Social Drink Best Dirt Horse. And everything else I don't really care about. Cool. Jockey Stuff. We were actually up there for averaging? Really? That's kind of surprising. Uh, this is Mr. T. Mr. T. I think he's from Undercover Agent and Perfect Partner. Five-star potential. Two-star discipline. Who are these horses getting this terrible discipline from? Perfect partner. I didn't realize she was, like, not a disciplined horse. I thought she was relatively okay. Um, apparently, she's not. Apparently, she's a hot-tempered horse. Uh, this is Mr. T. Mm. Mr. T. Mr. T. What would be appropriate for you? We haven't done the star in a while. I'm not going to do the mesh. That always looks awful. And I don't really like the ears. It's more of a thing in the Asia circuits. Um, Mr. T. Hmm. Let's do... Oh, black doesn't really make sense. This horse green. The gray. Let's actually do gray. I've never done that really. Let's see. I think we'll do um I think we'll do gray and white actually. Put him with the blinkers. Give him Hmm. Done white shadow rolls, maybe black. Give him a black shadow roll. Then as far as the bandages are concerned, I kinda wanna give him like a great bolero look, so we're gonna give him two at the front, which I think was white and black. Or is black and white? I actually like the white and black, to be honest. We'll do that. Mr. T. All right. And we have training. I'm going to start the first month off with Entrust for now. 
And uh, I wonder if I have to get that rating higher for those to be better. I don't know. But guys, that's going to do it uh, for this episode. Or hopefully you have enjoyed. Uh, if I feel like coming back and actually adding an extra part on, I may. But for now, I'm just going to end it here. And then there will be another longer one uh, tomorrow. I appreciate you guys loving and supporting the channel as always. But until next time, Horse Racing Gamer, send that out. I'll well, you all have a great and fantastic day. I'll see you later. And